So you look at the one people who you have disdain for, or that you're taught to have disdain for, that you're taught to think that they're at the bottom, that you're taught to think that they don't know anything. Those are probably the ones that the Most High is going to raise up at the end. Because the vast majority of people in the scriptures, I said, weren't people that others respected. They weren't other. They weren't people that uh, others listened to. Uh, many people despised them, hated them, wanted to kill them. So why do you think it would be any different today? Why do you think it would be any different today? Shout out to Big Judah for that word, man. I'd like to give all honor and praise to the Most High. And we're going to get into it, man. This is the, our Book of Mormon. Uh, Helaman, chapter 13. We'll start at verse 24. Yea, woe unto this people because of this time which has arrived that you do cast out the prophets and do mock them and cast stones at them and do slay them and do all manner of iniquity unto them even as they did of old time <laughs> and now when he talk he say if our days had been in the days of our fathers of old we would not have slain the prophets we would have not stoned them and cast them out so that's what they stay man you know the people that we you know we need, these people look up to today they have their statues all over i mean these people, you know, they go to school, they write essays about them. Oh, yeah, he's good. They celebrate the holidays. But if these people were still here today, I mean, they'd be giving them hell. I mean, let's keep going. Behold, ye are worse than they are. For as the Lord liveth, if a prophet come among you and declareth unto you the word of the Lord, which testifieth of your sins and iniquities, and ye are angry with him, and cast him out, and seek all manner of ways to destroy him, yea, you will say that he is a false prophet, and that he is a sinner. And of the devil because he testified of your <laughs> of your evil deeds man that i mean that your deeds are evil man <laughs> so people that speaking up that's that that uh, you know they say hey you know stay away from this guy man you know what i mean this guy this guy is crazy this guy's are you know I me mean? this that and the third you know what i mean slander campaign against them man stay away from this guy let's go just keep going man but behold if a man shall come among you and shall say do this and there is no iniquity do that and ye shall not suffer. Yea, he will. Yea, will he say, walk after the pride of your own hearts. Yea, walk after the pride of your eyes and do whatsoever your heart desired. And if a man shall come among you and say this, you will receive him, and say that he is a prophet. So, I mean, so. <laughs> you know, these, 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 these. I mean, the, the wicked, they come and tell you to do this and do that. You know what I mean? Which is incorrect and which is wrong, and you do it anyway. I mean, and those are the guys that you know these people follow. You know, they they, they follow the ones that's actually leading them astray, and they, and they, and they regard them as prophets. And that's like these handlers out here do all all do all manner of wicked wickedness and iniquity. Hey, and we're gonna leave you alone. You're not gonna suffer, man. You know what I mean, <laughs> but <laughs> but us that speaking the truth, hey, we're casted down and we're and, and we're disregarded in society, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh man. Ecclesiastes 9:17 through 18. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. I talked about this on my last one, man. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one one sinner destroyed much good. So one sinner destroyed much good, man. So I mean, when the wise men we come out here and we tell them what's going on, these people don't want to listen to us, man. But these are the same people that's hollering and yelling and crying when they see another terrorist attack happen. When they see another 9-11 happen. Oh, Lord. Why, 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 why. You know what I mean? But let, but let one of the wise men come out here and tell them about, you know what I mean? We speak about Illuminati and secret societies and, 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 and you know what I mean? Target individuals, things of that nature. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy. Oh, get out of here. You know what I mean? But when these things do happen, you know what I mean? They don't, you know what I mean? We don't, we're hurting quiet, man. And they go to the fools. <laughs> for their for their problems, man, and and and, and they are the fools, man, because they're the ones that's doing these things, man. <laughs> and we're disregarded, man, and they're going to the ones that's causing these issues. I mean, like they could solve them. I mean, <laughs> you know, a uh, brethren was telling me the other day. You know, he's trying to study the word. He's trying his best. You know, but his reading comprehension is not that well. You know, what I'm saying he um he's uh he suffers from uh dyslexia you know he's dysle dys dyslexic you know and you know i mean and uh you know he's trying his best man and you know he, he said a lot of brothers give him flack over it but you know I, I, that's perfect man that's perfect man you know what i mean 
you know what I mean? That's perfect. And right here, once again, I got I got this, the Moses. And this is when the most I was telling him to go into Egypt. Exodus 4.10. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue, man. This is Moses speaking, man. Moses was not eloquent. He couldn't speak well. You know what I mean? Slow of speech. Eloquent means you can't, you know, you can't speak well. You know, you can't write well. You know what I mean? You're not persuasive. persuasive you know? Th this is Moses speaking, man. <laughs> it's perfect, man. And this is who the Most High is going to use to bring glory onto him, man. So, yo, Akim, you in, the, you in the right position, man. I mean, I'm the same way. I'm not I, I'm not eloquent with my speech, man. I mean, and I did a video on that before. Let's jump to um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, verse 21. For wisdom opened the mouth of the dumb and made the tongue of them that cannot speak eloquent, man. <laughs> So wisdom did that, man. The wisdom of the scriptures, man. You know, and I could testify onto that because I, I'm, I'm not somebody that like to speak either, man. I mean, but studying these scriptures is making me open up my mouth, man. Right? That's who the Most High is going to deal with, man. The ones that you that you think that is going to be cast away, cast to the side in the society. That's who he's dealing with. That's who's going to be risen up, man. You know what I mean? Ecclesiasticus 19.24 He that hath small understanding and fear of God is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the Most High. So you see the Most High, had, he had every angle covered, man. So nobody can rise up and say, hey, I'm mightier than you in wisdom. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, I have more wisdom. You, you got to sit down. No, man. If, you still, if you're small in understanding and you still fear the Most High, I mean, you're greater than somebody that has all the wisdom and is transgressing the law. So the Most High had every angle covered. So nobody's going to rise up above anybody, man. You know what I mean? Especially those that's breaking the law, man. Numbers 12.3. Now the man Moses was very meek above all men which were upon the face of the earth. So Moses was the meekest, man. So you see, the one of the quietest, the most submissive men on the face of the earth, man. So as long as you're willing to humble yourself, I mean, the most I could deal with you. And you see why the most I was dealing with him, man. I mean, I'm the same way, man. I like to stay to myself, you know what I mean, and mind my business, man. You know, I don't get in people's business, man. Moses was the same way. Above all men, man. Very quiet. You know what I mean? Stay to himself. Come on, man. Now we're going to jump to um, the book of Genesis, chapter 7. And we're going to see... You know what I mean? How the, the mighty is casted down, man. You know, those that are high, in, in high positions, you know, are going to be brought down low. And those that were looked down upon is going to be risen up and mightier than they are, man. So Genesis 7, And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh. <laughs> And thy brother Aaron shall be thy prophet, man. You know what I mean? So the Most High, the Most High has risen Moses above Pharaoh, man. Pharaoh, this was a wicked nigga, man. You know what I mean? When Moses, Moses went there and said, "Hey, you know, the, 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 the God of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac, and Jacob said to let my people go." Pharaoh is boasting in his mightiness, man. I mean, I don't know who that is. Who is that? I know such. I don't know such a God. I mean, I am God. Boasting, man, lofty and prideful, man. <laughs> but you see, this is what the most. This is what Moses. I mean, this is what the most. High said to Moses, man. I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, man. You know, we gonna we gonna look into that some more, man. We gonna look into that real quick. But first, we gonna we gonna uh, look at this verse right here, Isaiah two eleven. The lofty looks of man shall be humble, and the holiness of men shall be bowed down. And only the Lord alone shall be exalted in the day. Only the Most High is gonna be exalted, man. All you guys in high positions, I mean, I think you are probably you gonna you gonna be humble, man. 
you know and those that you, you look down upon and you chastise is going to be risen up above you man <laughs> so let's let, let's take a look at this god thing real quick psalms 82 verse 6 through 7 i have said ye are gods all ye turn of the most high but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes so you see Mo moses knew that he wasn't no god man he knew where his power source was coming from man you know what i mean he knew where his power source was coming from you know a lot of cats like to say you know we're gods we're gods you know Nah, we're, we're not gods, man. But, you know, to the Pharaoh, he was like a god, man. You know? So, so the most that I make you are like a, like, like a god to the Pharaoh, man. You know? So we go, we're going we're gonna to keep looking at this, man. You know? I'm going to finally cover this. Psalms 8 2, 1. The most high stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods so the gods so who do, where does the most high dwell he dwells in a heavenly realm and who's around him the mighty angels man the mighty angels are angels you know and, and 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 even on the earth you know what he the people that he that, that he's dealing with are mighty my my mighty men man mighty woman righteous judges so that's who the most high is dealing with you know he judges among the gods. This god is means like a judge. You know what I mean like 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 a, like a ruler. And that's what he said to Pharaoh. Hey, I, I made you a god before Pharaoh. I, I, I put you over him. And it could have it, it could mean like a double meaning too. You know what I mean? Like hey, because like I said to Pharaoh, he never seen no power like that. So like to Moses, he was like a god. You know what I mean? But but like like I said, Moses knew where his power source was coming from. So the gods is like hey, you know. The, the, the mighty the mighty judges man i mean like a david like a samson you know what i mean they have they have power the most highest power was dwelling with them you know what i mean judges um, he judges among the gods they were they was judge they was they was um dishing out righteous judgment you know to the enemy and the most high was among them man he was around him his presence was around him man you know through his power genesis 6 4 there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came into the daughters of men they bear turn unto them and they became mighty men which were men of renown so men of renown so you know a lot of people i mean i go back and forth with this i'm kind of split within you know what i mean 50 50 of it now you know i mean and I, I i was taught that the you know the sons of god were like the righteous lineage of um seth you know what i mean and you know Others say that the sons of God are these are the, um, the fallen angels that came down and made it with the daughters of men, which are the, you know what I mean the humans, and you know like people's arguments are that you know what I mean, hey they they, they the angels can't procreate with humans like how 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 is that possible? But we know that you know angels could take the form of humans, you know. But as um you know as far as their reproductive system goes, like we don't know anything about that man. We don't know we don't know anything about that but they can take the form of humans you know but as far as you know um procre procreating with them i don't know how that came about but like the, but then you got to think like if it's the righteous lineage of, lineage of seth having sex with a um well a righteous man having sex with an unrighteous woman is not going to give you a nephilim you know what i mean <laughs> so how did the nephilim come about so there has to be some type of truth to the fallen angel story you know what i'm saying of when the sons of God came down to the doors of the men, you know. So we're gonna keep looking at this. Matthew 22. I want to start at verse 30, and this is um when the guy was asking, you know, Jesus, do do we um do we have wives and things of that nature in uh in the kingdom in heaven? And he answered him, he's saying, for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels. Of the most high in heaven so we're gonna be like the angels man but it doesn't say that anything about um you know them having sex you know that they can't have sex i should say you know it just says that they don't marry or are given in marriage you know so let's keep going it's the book of enoch therefore i have given them wives also that they might impregnate them and be determined by them that thus nothing might be wanting to them on earth 
let's talk about the humans right here. I mean, so we could have we could have kids. I mean, and, and, and multiply. But you formerly, but you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life and immortal for all generations of the world. And therefore, I have not appointed wise to you. So the angels are not appointed wise. But it, it but it, you know, it doesn't say that they can't, you know, have sex. You know, it just says they can't. They're not appointed wise. But it doesn't any say doesn't say anything about you know them, you know, mean um, procreating. You know, so that's 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 kind of like you know, I mean a gray area, a confusion. We 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 don't know if they can. We don't know if they can't. But according to like. What you see in, in Genesis with the Nephilim, they, they, they can, according to what you see, you know, but it doesn't say they can't. So Hebrews 12, 7, if ye endure chastising, God deals with you as with sons. So this sons are here, like, you know, when, it, when, it, when I see it, it, it has a double meaning in my head again. It can mean, you know, sons like the angels, because the angels are referred to as the sons of God. You know what I mean? And you know, sometimes we are referred to as the sons of God, humans. You know, but for it says, "For what son is he whom the Father chastises not?" You know, so deal with you as with sons. And when you think about him dealing with you as with sons, like I said before, and just remember the power that was bestowed upon the, um, you know, people like Moses, Samson, things like that. You know, when I say that he judges among the gods, he's doing deal with you like a son. He's going. You know, like the sons of like the sons of God. You know, what I mean, the angels. He's gonna bestow these kind of powers and things like that onto you, man. <laughs> you know, he deals with you as with sons. You know, it could mean like, hey, like a regular son, or it could mean like, hey, like like with the angels. Hey, we gonna bestow that power upon you. Hey? You know, things like that. So once again, we're gonna end right here. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh. So you see, Moses couldn't speak, you know. But he was risen up. The Most High used him. He was, you know. And, you know, don't ever be, you know, ashamed to go out there and, you know what I mean, spread that word, man. You know, or, or be afraid of, like, you know what I mean, you're lacking in abilities, man. Like I said, the Most High opened up, the, the, this wisdom is going to open the mouth of the dumb. And the people, um, and the people that's not eloquent, so it be able to speak if you're willing to do the work, man. You know, <laughs> and it's those that are in power are going to be casted down. You know what I mean? I have made thee a god to Pharaoh. You know, <laughs> like I said, Moses didn't. He knew that he wasn't no god, but like I said, to Pharaoh he was like a god, man. And that's what's going to happen when that power get bestowed on us, man. You know what I mean? All you guys that's coming up against us right now, we're going to be like, you know what I mean? We're going to be like gods to you. <laughs> we, But we know that we're not gods. We know where our power's going to be coming from. But like to us, I mean, to you guys that's unwise in the scriptures, just like Pharaoh was unwise and boasting and lofty, you know what I mean? He going to think that we, <laughs> y'all going to think that we gods, man, when that time come, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> All praises to the most high, man. You know what I mean? All praises to the Most High for that. Man. 